Welcome to Election Night in America 2024. Tonight, voters will be deciding if Joe Biden, Donald Trump, or RFK Jr. will end up being the next president of the United States. Billions of dollars have been poured into this race, and it does look like that Joe Biden and Donald Trump are the clear favorites to win the White House. If any of these three men are elected, they will be at least 70 years old when they take office on Inauguration Day. The polling averages on 538 suggest Trump has about a 1.3% lead over Joe Biden, though that candy number right there is actually quite high considering the last time a candidate got as close to the candy number as it is right now was Ross Perot in 1996. With the exit polls here on CNN, we see that there are less undecided voters, with pretty much all the voters making up the decision with Fendi's top three. Candy's numbers dropped to 6.8%, and Trump's and Biden's numbers end up tightening, with Trump only holding a 0.4% lead over Joe Biden. With the approval rating of the Biden-Harris administration, right now disapprove is at 55.7% to approve, which is just a little bit over 40%. This is really terrible news for Biden, as when Trump lost the presidency back in 2020, his approval rating was not nearly as low. Trump held about a 44% approval rating on election day. While well, for the final congressional vote here, Republicans have about a 2% lead over the Democrats, 1.2% if you round it down here. And what we see is that there are less undecided voters, just about 5% of the voters are undecided. Again, Democrats probably want to be winning the popular vote by at least 3% to end up winning the congressional races in the House of Representatives. We are here upon the 7pm poll closings in just about 10 seconds, and boom! We have our first poll closings of the night in six states, Vermont, Indiana, Kentucky, Virginia, South Carolina, and Georgia. Both candidates right now at zero electoral votes. Months and months of campaigning will be coming down in the next couple of hours to determine who the next president of the United States will be. We have our first projection here in the state of Indiana. Former President Donald Trump is the projected winner of its 11 electoral votes. Right now in Kentucky, Joe Biden actually has a lead here because only the Lexington and Louisville area has began reporting. Right now, Donald Trump is the projected winner of Kentucky with its 8 electoral votes. In South Carolina here, Donald Trump is the projected winner of its 9 electoral votes. The state was called quite a few hours after the poll closings last year, not so much this time around. In the state of Vermont here, Joe Biden is the projected winner of the state's three electoral votes. Now, in the state of Georgia here, with 16 crucial electoral votes, the only county right now in is Fulton County. Joe Biden holds 75.2% of the vote, or more than a 100,000 vote lead over Donald Trump. Robert Kennedy holding strong at 6.4% of the vote, but again, let's see how large of a splash is he able to make tonight. In the state of Virginia here, Donald Trump right now with a lead 53.6% to Joe Biden at 38.0%, Robert Kennedy at 5.6%. The state was essentially called at poll closing last year. This year, it's probably going to take some more time. We see that this is mostly the rural vote as the Fairfax County region has not yet reported any results. In the popular vote here, 289,000 votes for Donald Trump to 278,000 for Joe Biden. Right now, less than 1% of the total popular vote has came in, so this is very, very early. Donald Trump does he'll hold a narrow lead in the popular vote right now, but again, it is early. We are now at the chance of victory board, Trump at a 57% chance of victory. He holds 25 more electoral votes than Joe Biden. Now at the 7.30 p.m. poll closings here in three states, Ohio, North Carolina, and West Virginia. North Carolina here could give us a good indication of the election. If Joe Biden is ending up winning this day in North Carolina early, we can effectively call the election for him. However, Trump is favored in all three of the states who are about to close their polls. In the state of West Virginia here, a poll closing call, Donald Trump is the projected winner of the state's four electoral votes. Not that big of a surprise. Going to the state of North Carolina here, this is expected. Joe Biden holds a 20% lead over Donald Trump, but this is mainly the urban areas with their early vote beginning to report. Again, this does not resemble the whole electorate. We see a lot more conservative ballots end up being tabulated later, later on. This is consistent with the trend back in 2020 when Democrats had an early lead in North Carolina. Going to the state of Ohio here, 
Donald Trump with 1% of the vote in. This is the rural areas. It does look good for Trump as of this early report, but Joe Biden is currently trailing at just 27.8%, much lower third party vote here for Robert Kennedy. Going to a popular vote here, Robert Kennedy at 4.7%. His percentages have decreased. Donald Trump's popular vote lead over Joe Biden has expanded now to about 2 million votes. That is a significant margin, but again, only 9% of the total estimated vote is in, and we actually have a lot of results in the state of Florida, but we're going to display that in the next poll closings. Well, here we go in the chance of victory, Biden's actually at 52% because we do see better numbers for him right now in the state of Georgia and North Carolina. Going to the 8 p.m. poll closings here in a quite a lot of states here, more than a dozen states going to close their polls, the biggest single batch of poll closings tonight. Well, we have the state of Alabama here, Donald Trump with its nine electoral votes. He is the projected winner. Going to Mississippi with its six electoral votes, Donald Trump again with its projected winner. Missouri's 10 electoral votes easily goes to Donald Trump. Not, not the case in 2008 when John McCain only won the state by 0.1%. Going to Oklahoma here, 7 electoral votes, Donald Trump is the projected winner. Going to Tennessee, 11 electoral votes, Donald Trump is the projected winner. 7 electoral votes in the state of Connecticut, Joe Biden is the projected winner of the 7 electoral votes. Going to the District of Columbia here, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is expected to finish second, the only jurisdiction where he is probably going to finish above either one of the major party candidates. Joe Biden is the projected winner, holding 87% of the vote as of right now. Going to Delaware, his home state here, Joe Biden is the projected winner. Going to Illinois, 19 electoral votes. Joe Biden underperformed there in 2020. Looks like he might be having a little bit more of slippage in the Cook County region. Joe Biden still nonetheless the projected winner. Going to Maine's first congressional district, only one of its four electoral votes we can project right now. Joe Biden is the projected winner of the state of Maine with its first congressional district. Maryland, 10 electoral votes. They are a competitive Senate race. Joe Biden is expected to win the state by at least 20 points. Going to see of Massachusetts here, Joe Biden is the projected winner right now of Massachusetts's 11 electoral votes. Going to New Jersey here, 14 electoral votes. Joe Biden is the projected winner. The state is trending a bit more to the Republican Party as Biden is expected to win the state by just around 13 points. Going to Rhode Island here, the state took like four hours to call last election. Joe Biden now is projected the winner at poll closing. Now going to the state of Florida here, we see some of the early results here in more liberal areas. So it is a good sign right now that Donald Trump holds a 11,000 vote lead despite most of the current vote being from more liberal areas. Joe Biden is not actually up. In fact, Trump is right now ahead. Robert Kennedy at 4.7% in racking up an impressive almost 200,000 votes in the state of Florida. Right now in Maine's second two electoral votes at the at-large vote, Joe Biden is currently leading over Donald Trump and Robert Kennedy. However, if Joe Biden is not at 50%, there could be a recount in the state of Maine. In the state of Maine with its second congressional district, Donald Trump has been leading comfortably in the second congressional district. Right now, Trump has about a 1,000 vote lead over Joe Biden. Right now, the percentages here, 28% difference between Biden and Trump. We do expect that to narrow, but we do expect Trump to win its second congressional district with its one electoral vote. Now going to New Hampshire here, Joe Biden is expected to win the state of New Hampshire. He is currently leading by more than 12% or just over 2,000 votes. While for Pennsylvania here, what we are seeing the Philadelphia area with its mail and ballots beginning to pour in. Joe Biden is currently leading 71% to 21.2%. However, this is just one batch of votes. We expect many more Republican counties to start reporting. But for Philadelphia, again, the, at the big urban areas, most of the vote is actually going to report late. But right now, the first batch here does appear to be in favor of Joe Biden. Now the popular vote here, the margins have tightened, though Trump still maintains about a 1.885 million vote lead over Joe Biden. Donald Trump is at 13.8 million, Joe Biden is at 11.9 million, while Robert Kennedy is at 1.2 million plus some change. We're going to see how these popular vote margins end up playing out, though Joe Biden is expected to have need to at least win the popular vote by three in order to have any remote chance at the presidency. Again, the popular vote is early, only 18% of the vote is in, but again, Trump does hold a pretty substantial lead. 
Now going to the chance of victory map, Joe Biden with a 56% chance estimated chance of victory over Donald Trump. We are here upon the 8.30 p.m. poll closings with a couple of major projections coming in right now. Going to the state of Arkansas here, six electoral votes. Not surprised called upon poll closing, Donald Trump is the projected winner. While the next state here is the first real key race projection in the state of Florida, Donald Trump is the projected winner of the state's 30 electoral votes. Donald Trump right now holding a commanding 387,000 vote lead over Joe Biden. The margin is expected to widen as more of the vote comes in. Right now we have the more urban votes starting to report, but we see that Donald Trump is still far ahead of Joe Biden, holding almost 49% of the vote in an election where the third party candidates have a substantial number in the popular vote. Going to the state of Ohio here, another key race projection for Donald Trump. He holds the state 17 electoral votes. We see that the early votes were generally came, coming in from Columbus and Cuyahoga counties where Democratic uh, senators were in. Now Donald Trump has taken the lead in the state of Ohio. We can project him as the winner. The state of Ohio has been accurate in terms of predicting the president for 60 years of bellwether state before being wrong in 2020. No Republican has ever won the presidency without carrying the state of Ohio. Right now, the margin stands at a relatively close race of 70,000 votes. We expect Donald Trump to be able to win the state by around 10 to 12 points when all is said and counted. Going to the popular vote here, right now with slightly more votes counted, Donald Trump's lead over Joe Biden has expanded in the popular vote to now more than 2.6 million votes ahead of Joe Biden, though percentages remain largely the same because more of the vote has indeed been tabulated. Going to the results so far here, we see that with the states of Florida and Ohio combining with 47 electoral votes, plus the state of Arkansas, Donald Trump does have a handy lead over Joe Biden in the current electoral vote count, but again, we haven't arrived to some of the big states that have closed its polls in the blue areas, such as New York, California, Oregon, or Washington. Now going to the chance of victory here with this, these calls, Donald Trump's odds are at 61% over Joe Biden. We can see Los Angeles, they're quite busy. Their polls have yet to close they will close in about two and a half hours. Now, as we await the next key race poll closings, we have some key race alerts coming in right now. For the key race alerts here, first off, in the state of Georgia, this is a must win for the former president, Donald Trump, as he currently has a 205,000 vote lead over Joe Biden. But as more of the mail-in ballots come in from Atlanta, which will come in at the very latest, especially from the Cobb County, where Democrats are expected to make about 300,000 votes in inroads. We currently have the race as too early to call. Going to the state of Maine here with its two electoral votes, 16% of the estimated vote is in. There is a man mandate here where you need to get more than 50% of the vote to avoid a ranked choice round. If both candidates, Joe Biden and Donald Trump, are below 50%, there will be a ranked choice round where these smaller candidates will get removed and see who ends up on top with their first and second choice ballots being end up tabulated in the state of Maine. Now, Maine's second congressional district is similar phenomenon. Trump needs to maintain more than 50% of the vote to avoid a ranked choice round where candidates will have their second choice tallied for their candidate and have their votes added. Now going to North Carolina here, 16 electoral votes. As expected, the race has tightened with 68% of the vote in. Donald Trump's lead right now against Joe Biden. Joe Biden only holds a 47,000 vote lead over Donald Trump as he holds just 47.7% of the vote. The state is expected to go to Donald Trump when all is said and done. Right now, however, Joe Biden with, again, more than two-thirds of the votes in, still maintains a narrow advantage over Donald Trump. Now in the state of Ohio here, still with mostly Democratic areas in Columbus and Cuyahoga counties, Joe Biden still maintains a lead over Donald Trump, though of course the race has tightened. We do expect the rural areas to come in overwhelmingly for Donald Trump, as Trump is expected to win the state by anywhere between 10-12% to 12 when all is said and done. Now going to the state of New Hampshire here, it does look good for Joe Biden. With his prospects, he is expected to win the state of New Hampshire. Right now, he is leading by 1.8%, or just 4,000 votes. Now going to Pennsylvania here, again, this is still mostly from the urban areas, but this is also mostly from the election day vote. We still don't have any of the mail-in ballots in yet. Joe Biden is leading over Donald Trump by about 51,000 votes. The rural areas, however, are starting to come in in the state of Pennsylvania. 
Going to the popular vote here, Donald Trump's lead over Joe Biden has expanded to 3.6 million votes. However, again, a lot of votes remain to be counted and 28% of the estimated vote is in, so there's still quite a bit of vote left to be counted. Going to the 9 p.m. poll closings right now with a lot of states in play, including the crucial battleground states of Wisconsin, Michigan, Arizona, and to a lesser extent, the states of Minnesota and Texas. First off, in Kansas, Donald Trump is the projected winner of the state's six electoral votes. The state will award its six electoral votes here to Donald Trump. Going to Nebraska, four of its five electoral votes will go to Donald Trump. The second district is right now too close to call, though Biden is favored in that district. Going to North Dakota here with its three electoral votes, Donald Trump is the projected winner, and Louisiana, its eight electoral votes, is predicted to go to Donald Trump. Going to South Dakota here, three electoral votes, Donald Trump is the projected winner. Won the state of Wyoming, the state that gave him the largest margin in 2020, Donald Trump, the projected winner of the state of Wyoming. Now, New York here, 28 electoral votes, Joe Biden is the projected winner. Virginia here, another the first really key race projection we can make for Joe Biden. He does carry the state of Virginia. He is currently behind, but we do expect right now with the Fairfax areas and Alexandria left to report here, we do expect that Donald Trump will end up losing to Joe Biden by about six to seven points, if not slightly more, given the outstanding ballots are extremely favorable for Joe Biden. The state was actually called at poll closing in the 2020 election. This election, however, has taken about two hours more to call in the state of Virginia. Now going to the state of Arizona here, 11 electoral votes, only 2% in. Donald Trump is right now trilling Joe Biden in some of the early precincts that have came in. This is a very early indicator. It's not really anything of significance. Going to Colorado here, we do expect Biden to win the state of Colorado potentially by double digits. He is currently leading by more than a 2 to 1 margin pretty much over Donald Trump in terms of the vote count. Going to the state of Michigan here, this is currently too close and too early to call. 15 electoral votes absolutely crucial to both Joe Biden and Donald Trump, but especially crucial to Joe Biden. He cannot win the election without Michigan, a state that delivered a 3% victory for Biden in 2020, the biggest margin he had in any state that ended up flipping the 2020 election. Right now, however, some of the uncommitted uh, Arab American voters are not actually turning out for Biden, and it turned out in Detroit is kind of low. However, he did have about a 155,000 vote lead when all the ballots were counted. Let's see if that buffer is enough for him to win the state of Michigan. In the state of Minnesota, there was 20% of the uh, residents there actually voted uncommitted in the Democratic primaries. However, Joe Biden is expected to win the state of Minnesota. He's currently leading with the current votes, but again, mostly from Minneapolis, with a couple of the rural areas starting to report. With just 7% of the estimated vote in, it's still too early to call. Going to New Mexico here, five electoral votes. Donald Trump is currently leading the vote count, though we expect Joe Biden to be able to climb back with the remaining areas that are largely Democratic yet to report. Going to the state of Texas here, 32% of the vote is in. Joe Biden holds a significant lead of 571,000 votes over Donald Trump, but yet this state is still too early a call with most of the votes currently coming in from the Dallas, Austin, and Harris County region, we expect the margins to end up tightening and go in favor of Donald Trump when all the votes are counted. The state's 40 electoral votes cannot be won for Joe Biden if Donald Trump wants to win the presidency. However, our current model does have Trump winning the state in about 90% of outcomes. Joe Biden would love to win the state of Texas, it guarantees him the presidency, but nevertheless the state is too early to call. Going to the state of Wisconsin here, with just 2% of the vote in, this is mostly from rural areas. Donald Trump does hold a lead over Joe Biden, but it's still too early a call with just 2% of the votes in. Now heading towards the popular vote, you can see that Donald Trump is at 48.2% to Joe Biden at 44.8%. The gap has, as expected, narrowed with some more Democratic areas in New York City having to report. However, we do expect Trump to end up losing a popular vote when all is said and done by about a single percentage point because of a lot of the liberal areas around California, such as LA and San Francisco, left to report most of their ballots. We see Robert Kennedy there at 2.3 million. It's interesting to see how those voters will end up breaking in terms of how he would impact the general election. We see some of the other candidates here t combining to get about 2.8% of the vote, most no notably the, pretty much the two Green Party type of candidates. 
um, Jill Stein and also Cornell West. They're combining for quite a sizable portion of the vote that would hinder Biden's chances of actually winning the election. Now going to a chance of victory here, we do see that Trump with an electoral college lead over Joe Biden and a 64% chance of winning the White House. Right now the results so far, 155 for Donald Trump, 116 for Joe Biden, and we do see right now with some curious alerts coming in right now, and we do have some projections. Main 2nd Congressional District goes to Donald Trump. It's one electoral vote, although small, still critical for Trump's chances of winning the presidency. As you can see here, he has avoided the ranked choice round, holding 51.7% of the vote to Joe Biden, who holds 41.0% we could see that this margin is slightly larger than the 2020 margin, but not by that much. And some of the remaining votes here are expected to favor Biden, though again, not by much. Going to Colorado here, 10 electoral votes. Joe Biden is the projected winner. He does hold the state of Colorado here by a pretty good margin as we anticipate, probably by double digits. Right now, 90% of the vote is in. We can project here, seeing some rural ballots, that Joe Biden is going to win the state of Colorado. Now to see in New Mexico here, Joe Biden is the projected winner. He has taken back the lead after some more of its ballots have been reported. Going to the state of Maine here, we do see the 50% rule being playing in. Joe Biden right now is, uh, is slightly ahead of Donald Trump by 42,000 votes. Pretty much in a regular race, that will be sufficient to call him the winner. But right now, considering the 50% rule, we do see that Joe Biden and Donald Trump will be heading towards a runoff round or rather a ranked choice round where Robert Kennedy and some of the third party votes will be distributed to the two major parties. We expect Biden to come up on top, especially with those Green Party voters, but we'll see when all the ballots are tabulated. Here in the popular vote, as you might expect, the, the percentage difference has shrunk to 3.5%, but Donald Trump still holds a lead over Joe Biden in the popular vote. The states are actually quite slow to report their ballots. Many of the states are not 50% in right now, though most of those states we have projected for either Joe Biden or Donald Trump. Electoral College map here. At 10 p.m. poll closings, Donald Trump at 156 electoral votes to Joe Biden at 116. We still see that the majority of electoral votes have been allocated, 272 of them, but still a lot of electoral votes yet to be remain to be allocated, especially in the most competitive states of them all. First off, in the state of Utah here, Donald Trump is the projected winner. There is no Evan McMullen in this election. Donald Trump does easily and comfortably win the state of Utah and its six electoral votes. In the state of Montana here, four electoral votes. Donald Trump is the projected winner over Joe Biden. Not very much of a surprise, though the state is expected to actually be a little bit closer than previous elections. Right now in the state of Maine here, Joe Biden is the projected winner of the state's two electoral votes. With some of the third party ballots processed, Joe Biden is at 50.4%, Donald Trump at 45.3%, a majority here for Joe Biden. Now what we're seeing here is that the third party votes have been going to both Joe Biden and Donald Trump, and many of actually Cornell West supporters have actually just simply left their ballots blank. Nevertheless, right now, Joe Biden is the projected winner of Maine's two electoral votes, as he does get more than 50% right now of the current ballots. In the state of Iowa here, six electoral votes, a must win for Donald Trump. This was a state that Obama carried twice, and in 2008, by a relatively comfortable margin, Joe Biden does not have a great chance of winning the state of Iowa, but nonetheless, Trump still must win the state of Iowa and its six electoral votes. Going to the state of Nevada here, the early, actually some of the early ballots have currently came in. However, these are from heavily Republican regions. Nevertheless, here, Donald Trump's 16,000 vote lead over Joe Biden. Again, the majority of the state's population does live in Clark County, and about 90% of the state's population lives in the two counties of Clark and Washoe. Those two counties will decide who wins the state of Nevada. In the popular vote here, Joe Biden right now still behind Donald Trump, though the margins have again tightened slightly with 42% of the estimated vote in. Robert Kennedy at 2.8 million votes. He's definitely not going to win any of the states here, but he's still at a quite a decent performance for a third party candidate. Now at the 11 p.m. poll closings here, Donald Trump 166 to Joe Biden at 133 electoral votes. We expect both candidates here to get a boost in their electoral vote tallies and reduce the number of yellow states on our current electoral map to just the few most competitive at this map on this time of the day.
Now going to the state of Idaho here, four electoral votes, Donald Trump is the projected winner. As well as that, the state of Iowa here, six electoral votes, as expected, goes to Donald Trump. He is currently behind in the total vote count, but it's not surprising here that Donald Trump will end up pulling out the state of Iowa. He is heavily favored in the state. The rural areas have not came in, and when it does come in, we do expect a double-digit victory here for Donald Trump. Going to Texas here, 40 electoral votes, a giant state for Donald Trump here. He's currently only ahead by about 68,000 votes. This is a relatively concerning sign for the long-term Republican prospects in the state, as 85% of the vote is already counted. Nevertheless, we do expect that the Republican will end up winning by closer to 6%, just like his 2020 performance in the state. We still see that a lot of the rural areas, the small rural pockets, they don't have a lot of votes, but when they add up together with more than 200 of these rural counties in the state out of about 250 of its counties, it does add up to quite a significant amount of votes. Again, we expect that Trump will end up winning the state by closer to 500,000 votes, but right now Trump is currently only about 68,000 ahead of Joe Biden. Now going to the state of California here, 54 electoral votes. Joe Biden is currently ahead of Donald Trump. He is the projected winner. Going to Hawaii, four electoral votes. Joe Biden is the projected winner. While we go to Oregon's eight electoral votes, Donald Trump, D Joe Biden here is the projected winner over Donald Trump. Washington here, 12 electoral votes. Joe Biden again the projected winner over Donald Trump. And right now the popular vote here with more than half of the vote officially in. Donald Trump here still leading Joe Biden by 2%. But we, what we see right now is that the LA and San Francisco region again haven't reported any of the votes, as well as the big Democratic areas in the states of Oregon and Washington, for example, King County in the state of Washington, pretty much only 2% of its votes are currently in. Now, right now, the chance of victory, despite Biden receiving a significant boost, Trump is still at about a two-thirds probability of winning this, this election right now. While going to the results so far here, 216 for Donald Trump, 211 for Joe Biden, as we have some key race alerts coming in right now. In the state of North Carolina here, Donald Trump is the projected winner of the state of North Carolina. With that, he has carried every single state he carried in 2016. He wins the state's 16 electoral votes. With 95% of the votes in, he leads by 2.7%. Consequentially, this margin is actually larger than his current lead in the state of Texas, though we still expect him to win by about 5-6 to six points there. In the state of New Hampshire here, Joe Biden has retained another Clinton state. He is the projected winner. The state has a huge white college educated type of population. Those voters, a lot of them supported Nikki Haley. But if Nikki Haley was not in this race here, we see that Joe Biden is the projected winner of the state of New Hampshire. He is expected to win by about seven, the same margin as he did in 2020. Going to Arizona here, we see 46% of the vote is in. Joe Biden holds a seemingly pretty much un uh, uncounter lead in the state of Arizona. He holds a significant lead. He holds the majority of the votes. But just like in 2020, we expect the remaining in-person election day vote to end up favoring Donald Trump over Joe Biden. Only time will tell who ends up winning the state of Arizona. Again, this is a relatively significant lead right now for Joe Biden, but we're not going to be calling this for at least another several hours. In the state of Georgia here, as expected, some of the numbers have tightened percentage-wise. But Donald Trump still holds a 7% lead and 286,000 votes over Joe Biden. Again, a lot of the mail-in early ballots from the state of Georgia, those are kind of the heavily Democratic areas of the state combined with the fact that they're mail-ins, they're going to heavily favor Joe Biden. However, right now we're saying that Joe Biden needs about 66 to about 68% of the vote to win the state of Georgia based on how many of the ballots are currently remaining. We do not expect that Joe Biden will be able to get that large of a margin of the vote, but he's definitely going to close some of that gap. However, Trump does have a good chance of flipping the state of Georgia. Georgia might be the first Biden state in 2020 to fall to the Donald Trump column, and its 16 electoral votes, crucial to Trump's chances. Trump needs to win the state of Georgia. Joe Biden doesn't, but he pretty much still would prefer the state of Georgia to be in his column, considering Trump has won all of his 2016 states. Now going to the state of Michigan here, 15 electoral votes. Although we see a similarly seemingly insurmountable lead for Donald Trump here, we see that Joe Biden is more in play in the state of Michigan. Right now we see 55% of the vote is left, which means there's still a lot of ground for Joe Biden to end up making. 
and it's still more than the 200,000 vote gap. Right now, Robert Kennedy could be playing a role. If this race does end up coming down to a razor thin margin, then we'll be discussing if Robert Kennedy played a spoiler role in this election, as well as some of the other Green Party candidates. Going to the state of Minnesota here, Joe Biden does look set to end up winning the state of Minnesota. Right now, he does hold a 59,000 vote lead over Donald Trump with 67% of the votes in. Now going to the state of Pennsylvania here with uh, its 19 electoral votes. This is absolutely crucial for Joe Biden. He must retain his home state, essentially the state he was born in, Scranton, Pennsylvania, to end up retaining the state's 19 electoral votes. Donald Trump holds a 295,000 vote lead over Joe Biden. But again, we see that only 45% of the vote is in. Back in 2020, where about 60% of the votes were in, Trump held a 16% lead over Joe Biden, or about 500,000 votes. In the end, Joe Biden was actually able to overtake that lead and end up winning, winning the state by more than 70,000 votes. So we can still definitely see many opportunities here for Joe Biden to end up actually catching up in the Pennsylvania vote count. The state is absolutely necessary for Joe Biden to end up holding for him to win the election. Now going to the state of Wisconsin here, with its 10 electoral votes, the state is closest currently in terms of percentage and the raw vote count. But Trump does hold a 80,000 vote lead here over Joe Biden. The state is closer percentage-wise, but we see that there are already some of the areas around Dane County, which is pretty much the most bluest area of the state that has already reported its ballots, where Madison is located. Milwaukee still has a lot of ballots. Milwaukee's only about 10% reporting right now, so we'll have to see how the remaining ballots end up going. And the turnout in Milwaukee right now is looking okay for Joe Biden. He is still, however, slightly behind track to end up winning this state of Wisconsin. Now in the popular vote here, as expected, the margins have tightened. Trump only holds about a 1% lead over Joe Biden in the popular vote with 58% of the votes in. What we saw in the past hour or so is the LA area, the San Francisco area, some of the other blue areas of the, of the West Coast have began to report its ballots. Now we see that in 71% chance of victory for Donald Trump, Trump has held his 2016 uh, performance in terms of the electoral vote count. If Joe Biden was to win every single state, which is highly unrealistic, we would end up with the same electoral college result as 2020. Now going to the 1 a.m. poll closings here, we know that Joe Biden will not win the state of Alaska. Donald Trump will win the state of Alaska, which puts Trump at 235 electoral votes. By simply winning the state of Georgia, which he looks set to, and winning the state of Pennsylvania, that gets him to 270 electoral votes. If he wins the state of Georgia, he can win pretty much any two combinations, any two of four states in Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, or and Arizona to end up winning the presidency. What we see here is Nevada is not really crucial for Trump, but he actually has a good probability of winning that state too. Right now, it does not look too good for Joe Biden, but we'll have to wait and see. In fact, we have the 1 a.m. poll closings and a major projection coming in right now. Joe Biden is the projected winner in the state of Minnesota. 10 electoral votes does go to Joe Biden. As expected, he wins the state of Minnesota. 10 electoral votes, 67,000 vote gap between Biden and Trump. What's concerning for Biden is that this margin is far shorter than what his campaign had hoped for. Nonetheless, Joe Biden is the projected winner in the state of Minnesota. In the state of Alaska here, too early to call, 4% of the vote is in. Joe Biden right now only at 17.6%. There's a pretty large third party significant uh, vote share in the state. We'll end up seeing how that plays a role in the state of Alaska. Too early to call right now, though we all know that Trump will win the state of Alaska when all is said and done. In the popular vote here, the margins have shrunk right now to just a 185,000 vote gap between Joe Biden and Donald Trump. About 100 million votes have been reported, and it does seem right now that Joe Biden will win the popular vote, though this will be a much slimmer margin than the 2020 election results. As you can see, the chance of victory here is 72% right now for Donald Trump. He is set to end up winning this election right now if the things end up staying the way they are. Now we have currently the results so far, Donald Trump 232, Joe Biden at 225, they're in pretty much a statistical tie, but we know that Trump will again win the state of Alaska, he has to win pretty much a slim 
minority of the actual swing states to win the election. Joe Biden pretty much needs to hold on to Nebraska's 2nd Congressional District, win Wisconsin, win Michigan, win Pennsylvania, that gets him to 270. He can allow Trump to win some of the states like Nevada, Arizona, Georgia, and Alaska, but he really doesn't have much room to lose. He's right now trailing in Nevada, trailing in pretty much going to be trailing in Arizona, trailing in the state of Georgia, not going to win the state of Alaska. He needs to hold on to the blue wall in that Nebraska 2nd Congressional District to put him at 270 electoral votes. While Joe Biden right now has a few, just a few paths, Donald Trump has significantly more paths to that 270 electoral vote number. Right now with some key race alerts coming in right now, the state of Nevada, 6 electoral votes, Donald Trump is the projected winner. This is the first state in the 2020 election compared to that, that Trump has flipped a state. Now this was also a Clinton state back in 2016, however Trump was always expected to win the state of Nevada, right now he is leading by about 3% with about 95% of the votes reported. Right now, you can see a chance of victory after that Nevada call. Trump is at 238 electoral votes, and the 82% chance of victory. Right now, Democrats are extremely concerned about their chances. We do expect Joe Biden to end up losing this election as of right now. Right now, the results so far here, we know again Trump will not win the state of Alaska. He, however, does need one of the states of Wisconsin, Michigan, or Pennsylvania. As we have some curious alerts coming in right now, in Alaska, Donald Trump, of course, the projected winner of the state's three electoral votes. In the state of Arizona here, 11 electoral votes. Too early a call right now, but again, the margins have tightened right now to just about 79,000 votes. Though the margin is still pretty wide for Trump to catch up in a single uh, dump of votes, we still need to wait for several hours before we can make this projection. In the state of Georgia here, as expected, the margins have narrowed to just 77,000 votes. Again, this might actually take a longer time than we expected. Previously, it was looking very dead set for Donald Trump to win the state. Now, Joe Biden has actually been overperforming that 68, 6 to 68% barrier, and right now the state is still too close to call at this moment in time. In the state of Michigan here, 15 electoral votes, 79% of the votes in. Joe Biden has been making up some ground, though he has not been making enough ground to actually flip the state by current predictions right now. Now in Pennsylvania, 229,000 votes separate Joe Biden and Donald Trump. This lead has actually not shrunk by much over the past couple of hours. We do expect right now a very, very competitive race. However, Joe Biden still trailing Donald Trump by about 5% in the state of Pennsylvania, a state Joe Biden cannot lose in this election. Wisconsin, 10 electoral votes right now, 2% difference between Joe Biden and Donald Trump. We see that although this is a slim difference, that Joe Biden may not have the amount of vote left for him to actually pick up the state of Wisconsin. Very close race right now between Joe Biden and Donald Trump. Right now, the results so far, 241 for J Donald Trump, 225 for Joe Biden. Although seemingly some pretty competitive numbers, it does not look good for the Biden campaign. Right now, we have an 87% chance for Donald Trump to win this election. And we have some key race alerts coming in right now. In Nebraska's second congressional district, one electoral vote for Joe Biden. That means he needs to win Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania to win the presidency. That is pretty much his only realistic pathway. He does win the district though by about 5%, a relatively comfortable margin. Georgia 16 electoral votes, pretty much the second state to fall into that Donald Trump column. And now Trump, all he needs to do is to win the state of Pennsylvania and he is elected president of the United States. Georgia with its 16 electoral votes, Donald Trump is the projected winner, 48,000 votes ahead of Joe Biden, 1% margin, relatively slim margin, but nonetheless an impressive win for Donald Trump. In the popular vote right now, Trump has actually taken back the lead by about 900,000 votes, though again, we do expect Joe Biden to win the popular vote when all is said and done. The results so far here, pretty much Joe Biden, he has to hold on to Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, like what I have been talking about previously. In the state of Arizona here, we do see that Joe Biden still maintains a narrow lead as we speak right now, but a lot of that in-person election day vote has dragged Biden's lead to a, from, from about 123,000 votes, now to down to about just two or 3,000 votes. Biden realistically cannot count on the state of Arizona like he did in 2020. 
in Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, which will, you will soon see Kyrie Solorzin. Joe Biden is behind in all three of those states. He needs to come back with a miracle, just like Clinton did in 2016, in all three of those states. Clinton failed, but he she was able to come back in terms of the margins. Nevertheless, here, D Donald Trump looks set to win the presidency, but right now we cannot make a projection in Arizona, Wisconsin, Michigan, or Pennsylvania as it stands right now. And we have some curious alerts coming in right now. In the state of Arizona here, Donald Trump, previously Joe Biden still had a lead, but with the new dump of votes, pretty much all the vote is in. Donald Trump is the projected winner of the state's Arizona with its 11 electoral votes. Right now, the popular vote here, Joe Biden does now end up getting a lead, but that does not matter if he does not win the Electoral College, he loses the election, does not matter what happens in the popular vote system. Right now, the results so far, 268 for Donald Trump, 226 for Joe Biden. Trump is one electoral vote short of getting a tie, which would probably mean that he wins the election. However, Joe Biden still could win the election with the states of Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania in his column, but we do not believe that that is a likely scenario. 44 electoral votes will bring Joe Biden's number to exactly 270, but again, that is extremely unlikely based on what we know right now. With some key race alerts coming in right now. Now we see in the state of Michigan here, the vote gap has tightened. 93% of the vote is in, so Donald Trump really does not have a lot of time to end up dipping below Joe Biden right now. Joe Biden is running ca catch up here. He needs about 55% at least of the remaining vote to catch up. Pretty much Joe Biden, however, he pretty much needs about 60 40 against Donald Trump. We don't expect him to get that number because we do see some of the rural areas left to report some votes, but we see that the really Oakland part of this of the state as well as Detroit the Oakland part that is closer to Detroit right now the heavy urban areas still have a lot of votes to report nevertheless here we do not expect Joe Biden to catch up in the state of Michigan but we'll have to wait and see in Pennsylvania right now it actually looks pretty good for Biden in terms of compared to the other two states there are a lot of votes here from the Philadelphia suburbs in Delaware County, in Chester County, in Montgomery County, right? We don't actually see a lot of votes here from Philadelphia, but we see that those votes are probably enough to lift Biden over the top. 65,000 between Joe Biden and Donald Trump right now. The remaining votes heavily favoring Joe Biden at, as we know it right now. This state will probably be within half a percent when all is said and done. Finally, for the state of Wisconsin here, 48,000 votes. This is probably the worst state right now for Joe Biden. He does not have a realistic pathway to winning the state of Wisconsin, according to our decision desk. But we need to be a little bit more cautious before we call the state, ultimately for Joe Biden or Donald Trump. There's still a lot of vote from Milwaukee, at least compared to some of the other areas of the state. We're talking about 30,000 ballots from the Milwaukee area and the suburbs, but we do see some vote left from the wild counties and also some of the rural areas of the state. We expect the remaining vote to nearly favor Biden, but probably not by enough. Nevertheless, we'll have to wait and see. In the popular vote right now, half a point leads right now for Joe Biden over Donald Trump. We expect Biden to win the popular vote, but that does not translate to an election win at the end of the day in the Electoral College. Right now, the results so far, 268 for Trump, 226 for Biden. As we have some curious alerts coming in right now, no projections at this hour. Actually, we do. We have not a presidential call, but we have Joe Biden winning the state of Pennsylvania. 19 electoral votes. Joe Biden is the projected winner. He wins the state by 19,000 votes, with 99% of the votes counted. We expect when every single ballot is counted that Joe Biden's lead will expand to about 0.5%, but Biden does win the state over Donald Trump, a monumental win for the Biden campaign. However, he still needs Wisconsin and Michigan, which is right now not looking too good right now for Joe Biden as the vote totals stand right now. Again, this is a win that was unexpected based on our last update, but we do see Joe Biden winning this election, at least in the state of Pennsylvania. However, the other two states are going to be even harder for him to flip compared to Pennsylvania. Now going to the state of Michigan here, 97% of the vote is in. Trump's lead has shrunk again to 32,000 votes, or just 0.6% difference. Again, this looks a bit better for, uh, for Biden compared to about 30 minutes ago, but still Donald Trump still favored to win the state of Michigan. 
They say Wisconsin here, 10 electoral votes, 1.4% difference. Again, this is the hardest state for Biden to overcome. He needs about 75% of the remaining ballots. Not super realistic, but not necessarily impossible, so we haven't called the race yet. In the popular vote right now, 1.5 million votes separate Joe Biden and Donald Trump. Biden's lead is now growing to 1% with a lot of the mail-in ballots across the nation, especially in the blue areas. In New York State, we see in the state of Massachusetts, in the state of Vermont, a lot of mail-ins left to report. We do expect Biden's lead to end up growing to about 2% in the popular vote when all is said and done. The results so far, 268 for Donald Trump, 245 for Joe Biden. Now, this is an advertisement, of course, like any major news network. Please help election predictions and analysis gain more subs by hitting that subscribe button right now if you enjoyed in this video. Be sure also join our uh, membership program where you will pay just less than two bucks to end up joining our membership and getting exclusive early content, exclusive polls and all that. Thank you for joining and subscribing to EPAA. And thanks to one member who has done so so far, which is Todd right now. Thank you so much for being our first and hopefully not, not the only EPAA member. Now we have some key race projections and a historic call for the presidential election. We can now project that Donald Trump will win the, a second non-consecutive turn to the presidency as he is the only president to be able to do so besides Grover Cleveland back in about more than a century ago. As he wins in the state of Michigan here, Donald Trump is a projected winner. He wins by just 10,000 votes over Joe Biden in the state's 15 electoral college votes. This gives us the feeling of 2016 where he won the state by just 9,000 votes, this time by about 10,000 in the state of Michigan or 0.2% difference. In the state of Wisconsin here, this was the most expected flip for Donald Trump. He has flipped it by about 0.7% or 23,000 votes. Again, a narrow margin, but nevertheless a projection right now for Donald Trump over Joe Biden. 0.7% difference right now of the state's 10 electoral votes. Donald Trump does win the state of Wisconsin and it's 10 electoral votes. The final ballots were not enough to put Joe Biden over the finish line. While the popular vote here, we do see that Joe Biden has won the popular vote by 3 million, just like Hillary Clinton. We see a lot of parallels from this election like compared to the election in 2016. However, nevertheless here, just like 2016, Biden won the popular vote by actually a decent margin, but not enough for Trump to end up actually losing the election, as Trump does win the Electoral College. The final results here, 293 for Donald Trump, 245 for Joe Biden. Again, a lot of parallels to the 2016 election. The only two states that have flipped here, Nevada and Pennsylvania, one flipped in favor of Trump and one flipped in favor of Biden compared to 2016. Biden gets nearly more electoral votes here than Hillary Clinton, but they win the same amount of states. And Trump does end up securing the majority of states, the majority of electoral votes, but Biden does secure the plurality of the total number of votes in the popular vote. Anyways, thank you for watching today's video. Be sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.